Hello. Uh, I'm so delighted to hear that Adele Roberts um, now says that she's free of cancer. Um, I, don't, I don't know where, the, where she gets the information. Well, I suppose I do. She got it from her doctor, from her consultant. Um, I've been left slightly in the lurch, so I think I'm free. I have no, I have no clear statement to that effect. Um, but I think I'm free. Um, now, uh, the other piece of news today is also medical, and uh, Sir John Major has been giving testimony about the HIV infection of blood in the 1970s and 1980s, and he's got himself into a little bit of trouble. Now, 30,000 people got HIV and hepatitis C in 1970 to 1980 through uh, the stupidity of the blood system that was, um, uh, that was controlled by the NHS. And Sir John Major calls this incredibly bad luck. I think that's incredibly foolish and unguarded language from a man who's otherwise very cautious and very careful in what he says. Um, today, I personally um, receive a manufactured blood product. A, um, no, it's not a blood product at all, um, but it helps my blood to clot. Um, but in the past, I certainly did receive real blood injections. Um, and uh, although there were some odd side effects, I was... Um, I, I was to, 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 to um, turn John Major's words upside down. I was incredibly lucky. Um, I was not infected. I was not given uh, infected blood. Now, John Major says no amount of compensation um, that you can give uh, can actually compensate for what happened to them. I think he's wrong. The real issue here is responsibility. And the NHS, like teaching, uh, has learnt to hide its failures um, and uh, in, in, a, in a mass, in a morass of impenetrable bureaucracy. If anybody has complained about um, teaching or about uh, our health service, they will know what a misery it is trying to um, isolate the, the problem and trying to get some sort of redress. Um, these days, the NHS even sets its own time limits. Uh, so um, information that may come uh, 10 years after the event. I mean, we're not constantly uh, experiencing NHS healthcare for the most part. It's something that is intermittent. And when we experience it, uh, whether it's NHS or private or whatever it is, um, it's something that we need. And if it falls short, then maybe we start to see a pattern of um, behaviour that can be improved. But if the time limit has passed, then our complaint is irrelevant. That means the system doesn't learn. It also means the system isn't going to give us any compensation. And while institutions set these... Um, time limits, uh, there's a sort of sloppy morality and a sloppy approach, and we must expect this climate of blame, resentment and suspicion to eat away at the valuable work that so many doctors and nurses and teachers and so on um, perform, Though so many people who are dedicated to their duty and to their craft. So bad luck. Um... That, I suspect, is what Sir John Major's testimony will boil down to. That is what will be on the news tonight. That is what he will be remembered for in this particular instance. Uh, he might be sympathetic and careful uh, with what he said otherwise, uh, and so is the whole professional system. But it doesn't make it right. And that gaffe, that bad luck gaffe, um, and what is the bad luck? Is it the bad luck of the patients? Is it the bad luck of the institutions? Is it the bad luck for the politicians? I don't know, but that gaffe maybe um, will be pounced upon as a moment of truth in, in what otherwise is um, a bundle of paperwork. We have become victims of bureaucracy and we have to rise above that. And we have to see 
You know, we, we have to salute and we have to thank those people who've given their lives um, to the service of medicine and to the service of teaching and, uh, uh, you know, those public services that we benefit from. But we know from our experience of them that they are, are, are not always right. And if we have a system that refuses to learn and that is more interested in avoiding blame than in taking responsibility, these systems cannot improve. There we are, quite serious um, point for today.